lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at creating a circle monogram. And there is a fantastic font that allows you to do this really easily. So we're on defont.com, so we're just going to go in and type monogrammus. And you can see it comes straight up and I'm just going to search for it. And this is the Monogrammus font. So I'm going to download it and install it. And if you don't know how to do this, please do go and look at our other tutorials on installing fonts. So I'm in Design Space. I've installed Monogrammus. So I'm going to go to my text. I'm going to go to font and I'm going to start searching for Monogrammus. And you can see it's down here. So if I have my caps lock on and I type in, let's say, my initials, J-E-S. So first of all, you can see that each individual letter has been created three times in its own circle. So you will need to individually type each letter so that you end up with your own circles. Now we could go through and slice these but it, there really is no point. I'll show you how to do it in a second. Now, with your cap slot being on, you can see that our letters are actually cut out of our circles, and we do not want that. So please ensure that your cap slot is turned off when you're using monogrammas. So I've turned my cap slot off, and my first letter I want to use is a J. So I'm just going to bring that up here. And then I'm going to get a, another text box and write a E and bring that up here. And then finally I'm going to get a third text box and I'm going to type S and I'm then going to bring it up here. Now I want all my circles to be the same size. So I'm going to go up to my size area. I'm going to keep my lock on. I'm going to change my width to two inches and press enter. And I'm going to do this for each individual circle so that they all then remain the same size. So once my circles are all the same size, I'm then going to go and grab a shape and I'm going to grab a circle. And again, I'm going to size my circle at two inches. And you can see it's slightly smaller than my monogram circle so all I'm going to do is just push it on the edge there and slowly drag it and that will then give us an approximate size of our circle and we're only using it as a rough guide. So the next thing we need to do is we need to grab a letter from each area so I want my J I want my middle E and I want my end S. So we're going to use the slicing tool to do this. So the first thing you need when you're going to slice something is a shape. So we're just going to get a square and I'm just going to reduce it down and then I'm going to duplicate it. Uh, let's start with four times and to duplicate you just press this little duplicate button up there. So with this square, I'm going to grab it and I'm just going to place it over my two pieces I want to remove. I'm going to highlight the whole thing and I'm going to come down to my slice tool. When I hit my slice tool, it will then allow me to remove the pieces that I'd covered. So I'm then only left with the one letter that I want. I can then go in and delete these. So I now need two squares because I want the middle of my E. Now you can only slice one thing at a time. So if I placed both squares over my circle and just left my E in the middle and then I highlight, my slice button will not come up. It is not possible to slice two things at once, so you can only do one thing at a time. So I'm going to slice, and I'm then going to go in and remove these pieces here. I can then place my square over the other side, 
I can highlight and again I can slice and I can then remove and delete these and this will then leave me with my middle E and then finally I want the end of my S so I'm just going to grab my square I'm going to make it slightly bigger I'm just going to place it where I want it I'm going to highlight all and again I'm going to slice and then I can remove the pieces that I no longer want so now I'm going to use the circle that I made earlier as a template. So the first thing I'm going to do is go and grab my E and just place it roughly in the middle where I want it. I'm then going to get my J and again I'm just going to roughly place it where I want it. And then finally my S. And this as I say is just a template. So I want to move my E across slightly to get my spacing nice and even. And then once I'm happy with that, I can go in and remove my circle. I'm then going to highlight my J, E and S. And I'm going to weld them together so they become one file. I'm then able to make them bigger, smaller, transform them however I want. And that is just a nice, easy, simple way of making a circle monogram. As always, I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. Please do subscribe and I'll see you all again soon.